Connor and Noah Bart had been sleeping over at the home of their best friend, a home where police say the unthinkable happened. It was in an apartment connected to the Reptile Ocean Pet Shop where the two boys were found dead. Police believe they were strangled by a snake like this, an African rock python up to four and a half metres, 15 feet long. They say the snake may have made its way into the apartment through a ventilation system after escaping from its enclosure. The shop's owner described what happened to Canadian television. I thought they were asleep until I seen the, the hole in the ceiling, everything had fallen, and I turned the lights on and I seen this horrific scene and the snake was gone, but I, I found the snake. It was in a hole underneath. The, it's, I don't understand how I did it. And it went through the ceiling and... They were sleeping in the living room, and the snake fell through the living room, to the, through the ceiling. I pinned him down, and I put him in a cage. The boy's mother, Mandy Tricartan, was a friend of the shop's owner and let them regularly stay over. They're my, my best friend's kids, and they're my kids. They're, they're all best friends, you know, it's like we're an extended family. What happened here on Pleasant Street has shocked the community of Campbelltown. We could never believe that something like this could happen. But it's happened. The fact that you have an apartment with animals like that below, the risk is always there. Experts say attacks on humans by exotic snakes are extremely rare, and local officials say Reptile Ocean was fully licensed. The snake was probably way underfed and badly housed. For a snake to be able to get out of that size, it just has to be really hungry and uh, not in good conditions because usually snakes are very easygoing, and uh, I've been doing this for about 20 years myself, and I've, it's rare that snakes get out. I mean, I feel like I've lost, I feel like they're my kids. You know, it's just, I don't know what to think. Post-mortem examinations on the two boys are due to be carried out today. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.